Hello, I thought I'd just introduce myself to uh, Tony Houghton's groups. I'm Stuart Walton, I'm a web designer and copywriter and property expert based in Great Yarmouth in Norfolk. If you don't know uh, uh, Great Yarmouth, it's the most easterly point, one of the most easterly points in Britain, uh, along with uh, Lowestoft. It's, a, it's an area that I've lived in and worked in for now for 12 years. I originally from, uh, I'm originally from Doncaster, as you can probably tell by my accent. But I run a property introduction service called StuartIfromWalton.com, and with this business, I try to uh, match uh, vendors with good estate agents because I've been in the estate agency industry as well, and I've built up a vast network of connections on uh, social media, and I've got a pretty good gauge, a pretty good radar uh, for uh, knowing who sells well, and I can do the research that a client uh, won't necessarily be able to do. But I want to talk mainly, not just about the, my property business or uh, uh, the web design business, I want to talk primarily about Great Yarmouth, what it's like as an investment place. If you don't know it, the climate is absolutely fantastic. Norfolk as a whole is a very, very dry climate. And when we have friends and family visitors, they often talk about the lifestyle that this place engenders. It's obviously coastal, you're surrounded by the Norfolk Broads, the main city is Norwich, which is a, a, it calls itself in marketing terms, a fine city. And it's got the, the social problems of uh, any uh, city, uh, but it's also got a really genteel, lovely side. And property is quite affordable in Norfolk. Norwich is, a, is, is a quite expensive in Norfolk terms. And then North Norfolk has got its own microclimate of property, where in places like Blakeney and Clyde, you'll pay well over a million pound on average. And uh, if you go further south to Southwold and Oldborough, it's second home as uh, uh, it's second home paradise for Londoners. And again, they have their own uh, microclimate when you consider that the, the wedge between Lowestoft and Ipswich, uh, which are quite uh, low priced areas. But Great Yarmouth itself is a low wage area. It's got pockets of deprivation, but it's a place that I've called home. I live in a, a suburb called Bradwell for 12 years now. And it's a place that's in the ascendancy. Rental yields are high. Uh, because property prices are low and there's big scope for, for capital growth here. Uh, so if you, if, you, if, you, if you wanted to buy a two-bedroom terraced house in a suburb like Cobham or Southtown, you, you're often looking between eighty and £130,000. So the, the, they're almost northern in uh, uh, price range, uh, but uh, you, we are only two hours from London. We're half an hour from Norwich and uh, Norwich itself is an hour and a half from uh, London. Uh, so it's not a bad position to be in, and it does give it does give a lot for your money. This area, we, for example, I, I spoke with Nick Cheshire, who is a, a friend of mine and a, for, a former business partner at Nest in Essex. He's based in Rayleigh, and in Rayleigh in Essex near South End, the average salary there is fifty five thousand. I know that the average salary here is twenty two thousand, but because Great Yarmouth has got an offshore industry. It's 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 a town of two halves. You've got uh, you've got people on eighty, ninety thousand, a hundred thousand a year working offshore, and you've got people who are uh, seasonal on uh, minimum wage. So it is a, it's a it's a town of two extremes, and that shows itself. There is massive deprivation in Norwich and Great Yarmouth, but I don't think, unlike other towns I've lived in, like Oldham and uh, parts of Manchester, I don't think there's that edge, uh, for want of a better term, that you get there. So the you know. Insurance premiums are incredibly low here uh, on houses and cars, which gives you some idea of the, the relative safety of the area. Uh, it is, a, it is a, a very safe area. I've had no crime in living here in 12 years. Whereas in Oldham, when I lived there, the crime was uh, 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 eye-watering, uh, you know, car crime and burglaries and so on. It was constant. You were always constantly on edge, but not here, not here at all. So Great Yarmouth's got lots to offer. You've got properties starting from 60,000, 70,000, in uh, places like Cobham, in places like uh, Great Yarmouth uh, Town Centre. Uh, it's, it's, it's multicultural, and the, the, the main uh, immigrant culture is Portuguese, oddly enough, and it's got areas of the town called Little Lisbon. So you've got a big Portuguese settlement here. You've also got East Europeans. Uh, you've got Asian communities that have settled uh, for the hospital. Uh, we've got the James Paget University Hospital in Goldstone-on-Sea, and again, it's, it's quite transient because of that population and that, that sort of career path that people are following. Houses stretch up to uh, a million pounds as well. So you can pay from 80,000 80, up to a million. Uh, but for a typical 
new build, I'm sitting in a new build now, uh, you can buy, you can pay for a new build here, 158,000 without help to buy, uh, for a two bedroomed townhouse, a two bedroom terrace house. Uh, I know they don't like using that word terrace anymore. Uh, so it, it, is, it is an area that offers, I think, pretty good value for money, considering it's uh, only two hours from London. And uh, the lifestyle here is unbeatable. There's other pockets as well that are worth looking at. Lowestoft, for, uh, just down the road, down the A40, it's called the A12, but they've, they've tried to get Jewel in uh, by uh, renaming it uh, from Kings Lynn to uh, Ipswich. They've called it the A47 now. Make it that what you will. Uh, but Lowestoft is even cheaper. And Ipswich, again, is, a, is, is quite a, a low-priced area considering it's, uh, the fact that it's even nearer to London. It's not as desirable as Norwich, but in Norwich, the typical average property price is about 230000 In Great Yarmouth, it's about 170000 You've got suburbs that are dearer, obviously, places like Philby, Bradwell, and much higher. And you have got these broadland villages stretching, uh, uh, like Borough Castle and Belton, and stretching north, south and west from the sea uh, that command uh, much higher prices. But I, I run a property introduction business, and this is this is basically what I, I do. So I've currently got a, a property on my box. I don't, I don't take many on because I'm, I'm a, a, a web designer who's absolutely run off his feet with uh, work for web design and copywriting for estate agents. Uh, but if someone it says to me, a developer, a homeowner, that they're not getting much traction with a estate agent uh, because an estate agent uh, has just put it on right move and they've not had viewings or anything, uh, I'll look up the reasons why, and it might be the choice of estate agent, and sometimes it's, more, it's not quite as simplistic as saying change your estate agent. You know, people do feel some loyalty to it, or there may be decisions that are made by someone else in the family to use that estate agent. But what I then do is take a, an objective look at the marketing and see where I can improve it. And I've got an active following on social media, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Instagram and Twitter, and I, I do f feel that because I've got that tribe of followers that I can target ads to those followers and other people not just for the metric of likes but for the metric of getting people through the door so at the moment i've got somewhere called uh, chestnut barn in redford in nottinghamshire and if i just give you a flavor of this you can see it on my on uh, my uh, uh, profiles on social media it's a it's, it's a five bedroom detached barn it's got stables and paddock land it's got five and a half acres of land with it and it's also got a norman church and again, he's not had much success with it. The Norman Church has got a guide price of 125,000, and the, the 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 barn and the five and a half acres of land and the stabling, 675,000. Now it's only an hour and a half by train from uh, Retford or Newark to London King's Cross. So again, it, it's potentially commuter area. The A1, if you know Newark, runs near near them, by there. So it's in a good position. It's in a rural position, uh, but there's not the interest been engendered by the estate agent. So I've taken this on for a set fee to promote it on social media. And I've had inquiries, I've had viewings already uh, uh, asking about this property. And it is something that I pride myself on. So if you're in this group and you're thinking, hang on, property introduction, property uh, expert, I need someone who's a little bit more proactive uh, than, the, than the estate agent. Great, you, get, you can get, don't get me wrong, this is not a, a carte blanche attack on estate agents. You can get some brilliant estate agents but if you're in this group and you're thinking, hang on, I can do with some, some of that energy uh, to try and source property. And I, I, I've sold property in Somerset, I've sold property in Norfolk, in North Norfolk, I've sold property in Yorkshire. I've had one of my books in Manchester that was struggling. And it, it's targeting those ads on social media and, and making the estate agents sit up and take notice and say, hang on, yeah, Stuart's running drone footage uh, within his fee. We, we need to do something similar. And it, it's not accepting that, uh, that adage that you put it on right move and it'll sell. There's far more to selling a property in this day and age uh, than than just that. And that's that's a little introduction to myself. So if you if you go on stuart-walton.com, you'll see me there. And my main website, my main business is getprocopy.com. I'm a web designer, copywriter, and social media manager. So that's me. I hope you enjoyed my introduction to uh, Great Yarmouth and uh, my services. And I would say, look at Great Yarmouth. Look at Great Yarmouth. It's got tremendous potential. It, it's, it's a place where I've made the most money from personal investment in my own properties.
than anywhere else. You know, I've lived in Scunthorpe, I've lived in Oldham, I've lived in uh, Manchester, I've lived in Stoke-on-Trent, and I've never seen uh, capital investment rise as much as in this area. We bought a house uh, 12 years ago when we moved here, and we, we made a substantial amount from it. It's the same with the current house we're in. Uh, the, the capital growth in the east of England is good, and yet the demand for rent is sky high too, because mortgage lending criteria is so tough. So, I hope you enjoyed my little introduction. Sorry if I was looking the wrong way. I, I am on my uh, iPad Pro, and I'm not, I'm not too comfortable with which way to look.